Hey everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to be talking about the drug Enalapril, also known by the brand Vasotech. We'll learn exactly how Enalapril works in the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, and how it is used to treat high blood pressure. You can use the timestamps in the video description to jump ahead. Enalapril belongs to the ACE inhibitors drug classification, which is short for angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors. To get a good understanding of how enalapril works, we first have to understand what the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system does. Now, I know that's a lot to take in, so in this video's description down below, I'll place a link of my full renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system video. I recommend watching that one first to get a better understanding of how these ACE inhibitor drugs work, but we'll still do a quick overview here. So the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system is a natural system that occurs in the body that helps to regulate your blood pressure. The specific reason we have the RAA system is to fix low blood pressure. So if you're dehydrated or you've lost blood, then the RAA system is part of what helps to bring your blood pressure back up. So again, the problem is low blood pressure, and the goal of the RAA system is to raise blood pressure. The first way that the RAA system raises blood pressure is by constricting your blood vessels, also known as vasoconstriction. Constricted or narrowed blood vessels naturally increases your blood pressure. It's like trying to force fluid through a very narrow straw versus a wide and open straw. The pressure is higher in a very narrow straw, just like it would be in a very constricted or narrowed blood vessel. The RAA system also increases blood volume, which is the amount of fluid circulating through your blood vessels. Specifically, it increases the amount of sodium and water retention in the blood. This means that your body holds on to more sodium and more water so that you don't lose as much fluid in your urine. And if you increase the amount of fluid in the blood vessels, that increases your blood volume, which also increases your blood pressure. So the main takeaway here is that the RAA system helps to raise blood pressure. Now, how the RAA system accomplishes this is by going through a few different steps, one of which involves something called angiotensin converting enzyme, or ACE for short. Again, I recommend watching the full video of the RAA system in the video description for the complete explanation. But simply put, ACE is a vital component in allowing the RAA system to raise blood pressure and without it, the RAA system would not function. Enalapril is an ACE inhibitor. ACE inhibitors bind to and inhibit ACE from working, which ends up inhibiting the RAA system. And if we inhibit the RAA system, we don't get any of those blood pressure raising effects that we talked about earlier, like the vasoconstriction or the increase in blood volume. This means that ACE inhibitors actually cause vasodilation, and they decrease blood volume, ultimately lowering blood pressure. So let's write that down. Now, enalapril is most often used in the treatment of hypertension, and is commonly administered alongside thiazide diuretics for an additive effect. Thiazide diuretics also help to remove fluid and lower blood pressure, and have been shown to work well with ACE inhibitors. Cardiovascular complications, such as myocardial infarctions, left ventricular dysfunction, and congestive heart failure, are often caused in part by elevated blood pressure. So enalapril can also be used to reduce the risk of these complications. Enalapril may cause hypotension, or abnormally low blood pressure. Hypotension may manifest as dizziness, headache, fatigue, and more. This is something to look out for, especially when someone is first starting on enalapril, as it may be an indication that a lower dose is needed. Another side effect of enalapril is dry cough, which typically resolves after discontinuation. Dry cough is actually a common reason to switch to a different blood pressure medication, such as an angiotensin receptor blocker, or ARB for short, just as an example. Also, enalapril may cause drug-induced angioedema, which is swelling of the tissue underneath the skin that can occur at any time throughout enalapril therapy. Angioedema is often very mild, but can be life-threatening in rare cases, as it may affect swallowing and breathing, making them more difficult. Some other possible side effects of enalapril include hyperkalemia, possibly due to enalapril's effect on aldosterone secretion, renal or hepatic impairment, agranulocytosis, and many more. Enalapril belongs to the FDA pregnancy category D, 
It is associated with increased fetal and neonatal morbidity and death, so it should not be used during pregnancy. Enalapril should also be avoided during breastfeeding as it has been detected in breast milk. Also avoid enalapril in patients with a history of ACE-induced angioedema or patients with ACE inhibitor hypersensitivity. Exercise caution in geriatric patients, patients with impaired renal or hepatic function, patients with hypervolemia, hyperkalemia, and more. Always remember to assess and monitor for side effects of enalapril, monitor blood pressure just before administration, Typically, ensure that systolic blood pressure is more than 90, otherwise hold the medication and notify the provider. Monitor intake and outputs, creatinine clearance for kidney function, electrolyte levels like potassium and sodium, and more. Instruct patients to avoid rapid changes in position, such as quickly changing from sitting to standing, to reduce the risk of orthostatic hypotension and falls. Do not discontinue enalapril abruptly, but instead gradually taper the dose according to the provider's instructions. And that's about it for enalapril. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.